Oh, now this is not a matchup that I'm looking forward to. Because Karma goes online turn 10. And if Trundle gets the combo out early, can't really do much about it. I want my Vengeance, my Ruinations. Pretty long game of passing coming. At least we have one stun now for the Watcher. For 3 mana, he'll probably use some shit like... Catalyst of Eons. <laughs> it's not our best matchup for sure. He just passed. I, th I don't think he should bring that out. So I have 9 cards in hand. I won't overdraw yet. Slowest matchup of my entire career. Double pop, so I have double stun. I can stun the Ephemeral Watcher and I can stun the non-Ephemeral Watcher, but I do need to bring down the number of cards in my hand here. <laughs> if I use Shadow Assassin, I still have 10 cards in hand. Let's just inflict 2 damage, see what happens. Probably just use Vile Feast or some shit. Vile Feast seems good, just as a blocker for Trundle. I'm not gonna commit anymore because he could use Ice Shards. That would be... feels bad for us. Thresh is good. Thresh is good. I can use Thresh, suicide one of this, and then use Black Spear to kill the Lysandra probably. Okay, so he uses Ice Shards, which is pretty nice. Stinging Cold! Stinging cold. I mean, I can kill the Trundle. I can kill the Trundle with the Black Spear. I want to save Go Hard for the Karma. And I don't really want to... Draw. I have to kill the Trundle at some point. Save mana. I'm gonna put out the Thresh next turn. I need to kill this Lysandra if possible. But I'm not really worried about the Watcher combo because I have double Concussive Palm. At least I can survive for one turn. But I need to be able to kill this Lysandra here. Heals it up. So he has lesser bo board space now. I have mana for both Vengeance and Concussive Palm, and he won't be able to get the combo off. He will be able to level up the Lysandra, that's about it. There's no way I can kill the Lysandra before it levels up. Okay. Should I Vengeance Lysandra now? Using Vengeance on the Lysandra the right move? He did use one more... Um, and treat earlier. He used double the treat, right? So I think he has another Lysandra in hand. Because he would have summoned another Trundle. Yeah, he has another Lysandra in hand. So killing the Lysandra doesn't really do much here. I think I just pass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Seems good. Um, This Frozen Thrall might also be a problem, by the way. We have lots of answers to the Watcher. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass um, he probably has another Lysandra then. But if he summons another Lysandra, he's gonna have board space problems. Uses that. I'm gonna use... Block Spear. I'm gonna use Block Spear probably. If I use Black Spear, he has to summon another Lysandra, which means another Frozen Thrall will come out and he will have even more board space problems. So next turn, if I use Shadow Assassin, I would have 11 mana. 11 mana is just enough for Vengeance 
plus concussive palm i think but then you have 13 mana i have enough mana for vengeance and karma seems good yes summon lisandra first let's try to get deny oh we have rekindler now so we don't mind the You don't mind if the karma dies now. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. I need to save my stuns for the watcher. I'm also saving vengeance for the watcher. I am Iceborn. Secrets hidden by frost. I want to reserve my Gohards next turn. No, 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 I need to kill the Lissandra. I need to kill the Lissandra. Need to fucking kill the Lissandra. I can clear his board, go for a wide open attack. Rocks. You won't get the ice shard, sorry. Should have used the ice shards already. So I need to save mana for vengeance for sure. He made a mistake there, I think he didn't expect that I had another go hard. I need to save space for vengeance. I need the if he uses spectral matron, I need the ability to vengeance the non ephemeral watcher. If he uses vengeance here, if he uses the other watcher, I just use vengeance. I also need to save Karma. Um, having Karma is also super important. The ability to shuffle shuffle units back into the deck is super duper important. Supa, dupa. Super duper. Will he be able to out late game him? So become a pack of your bags. I still have stun plus vengeance. And even if he obliterates my deck, I use double inside of ages. He needs to kill my karma first. <laughs> Bjerg. Bjerg. Probably use the matron again. And I will just stun it again. And I have two fearsome blockers. Yeah, we're pretty... we're in a good spot here. I like where we're at. I don't want to use deep meditation. I need to have mana up for deny... I uh, for vengeance. So I just chill. Don't I just chill? See if he's an impatient. The one who's impatient will lose. So he already attacks, which means deep meditation is good to cast now. He summoned everything. Oh no no no! I only killed the spectral matron. I will eventually kill him with my packer bags and go hard. Eventually, he already used double spectral matron. So, 11 mana. If I use this, I have 7 mana. Should be safe. Ship him down a bit. Go hard is pretty good. Just gonna chip him down. Okay, dash freeze. 
Very patient play for him. He's still not using the Watcher. I will always keep up 7 mana. If I drop below 7 mana, he will summon the Watcher. Actually, I just realized this deck is such a hard counter to Watcher. Even if he uses Watcher, I can go hard, shuffle units into my deck. I can Karma if in Karma's inside of it, just shuffle units into my deck. The only way Watcher actually wins here is if he summons the combo on turn 8. And if I don't have an answer on turn 8. Um, so I can just chill again here. I have double go hard again. I have Packer Bugs. He will eventually die if he doesn't do anything. Uh, that's the third Matron. And I have my third Concussive Palm. It's pretty sad for him. Ah, haha. Spooky Karma is back. This, this, he can't do anything. I stop every Matron. The Watcher is stuck. Literally, he can't do anything. He's getting pissed. <laughs> He's getting pissed. I guarantee. I fucking guarantee. Avalanche. Or the box. can also use the box. Vilefeast will summon a unit. Let's go for this. And then Vilefeast. And then open attack next turn. He got grinded out. He got grinded out hard. Oh. He ran out of patience, guys. Or he ran out of options. Then I open attack next turn. <laughs> I forgot about fading memories. I would have won if I save up mana for inside of ages. I played careless, and I paid for it. No, <laughs> no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I should have just wait for the attack. I should have just wait for the attack. If I waited for him to attack, I used the box. I forgot about fading memories. If I just waited for the attack, I I become patient with my mana. He will eventually summon those watchers. He summons the first watcher, I vengeance. He summons the second watcher, I use inside of ages. If he opens attack, I use um if he open attack if he attacks with the spectral matron, I just use freaking the hold that card the box in order to not take damage. Or I just take the damage because the damage doesn't matter. Oh, I, pl I misplayed that so hard. I forgot about Fading Memories. I forgot about that card. Okay, against this discard aggro. Fuck. I want my early units. Am I keeping Concussive Palm this matchup? I think it's a bit too late. I need to mulligan hard for my early units. Uh, plus Restocrat. Plus Black Spear is really good for us. It doesn't have a 1-drop, so that's also good for us. So we have several options on turn 3. We can go the box or black spear. I'm probably using the box because I have two of them. I want to get rid of one of them. I'm assuming he's going to summon... Um... Draven? Dra Draven comes out. I can use the box. Yeah, I still use the box here, right? There's no way he passes here. He needs to take this attack. I want to minimize the number of units he has because he might use crowd favorite next turn. Especially since he doesn't have Draven. So most likely he has a Jinx and a crowd favorite. I just want to keep his board as small as possible. And then next turn if he summons Jinx, I can use the box. Withering Whale is really good. Just play reactive. If you use Jinx here, I immediately use the box. Not even gonna think about it, I think. I can also go for Black Spear, but I think the box is better. 
There's no way he levels up, Jinx. Oh. It's not very good, but I can still kill it with Black Spear next round. Use a survival skills, interesting tech card. Hmm, Withering Whale is pretty nutty here, huh? The rail is pretty nutty, so I can just block here, or do I need to kill the... I think I need to kill the Battlecaster, it's more net damage that he's getting. Battlecaster lots, adds lots of damage per turn. It's getting scary. Crowd favorite. The people are my strength. He always use vengeance and that. Ready. The problem is our block spear is uh, kind of a dead card right now. Go hard is neat. If he develops here, I'm gonna use go hard. Can even use both go hard and concussive palm. What if his other card is another crowd favorite or a jinx? I prevent a lot of damage by stunning here, and I get to proc the deep mid. If it's another crowd favorite, then just have to tank it. He already used one crowd favorite. He already used one jinx. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. Deals a lot of damage here. I, I have the deep meditation next turn. Hopefully I can get a couple of spells that will be nice. Couple of nice spells. Whew. That's lit. That's lit. I think I use Withering Whale now, right? Just in case this is a crowd favorite. I hope they, I hope you're not a crowd favorite. I mean, if it's not gonna do anything, I don't have to do anything. Even if he attacks, oh, open attacks here, I can use Withering Whale. Flame Chompers. If I use Withering Whale, I still have enough mana for Vengeance. Probably using Shadow Assassin. He's trolling a bit. This is good, right? Seems good. GG Anti-aggro Anti-aggro Spooky fucking karma is back Okay <laughs> Shen Jarvan Gohard will be good if he uses Fleet Feather Tracker do I need Thresh? I might need Thresh to stabilize. I think Black Spear is a good card, but we don't have the units that we need to synergize with it. I think I keep everything. I mean, I shuffle away everything except Thresh. So we do have the counter to Jarvan with the Concussive Palm. Nice. If he passes, I'm passing though. I can keep passing. I'm chill. River Shaper. That's why I wanted to pass. Uh, if I summon Hapless, River Shaper will have a free attack. I can attack. He only has Sharp Sight to counter this. And if he uses Sharp Sight, I think that's a good trade for me. Nice, we inflict sick 4 damage for free. Sick! If he uses Shen, I'm probably using Palm. This is Laurent Protege, which means that the River Shaper gets a free draw. I don't want to use the stun here. I think I'm okay with the River Shaping getting a draw. It means trading with the Laurent Protege. I think that's worth it. That's egg. Maybe bringing the River Shaper down some HP is also good. Then I just use Deep Meditation, probably. Deep Meditation? If I use Thresh next turn, I only have 3 mana left and I don't have any 3 mana spells. 
So deep meditation is good here. And bringing down the HP of the River Shaper to 1 is crucial. Because it now dies to Thresh even if he uses Sharp Sight. The so only way to save the River Shaper is through something like a repost. Um, yeah, good. I'm gonna kill the River Shaper then. What form will the waters take? So Jarvan is probably coming. Words make a ruler, actions make history. I have mana for Ruination up, so the moment he drops under the knife, he's fucked. To the flag! To the flag! So I just have to keep Ruination mana up, I just pass here. Golden Ages. If I use Ruination, he uses the knife. Then I lose, so I have to deny this one. He uses deny here, I'm fine. If he wastes the deny here, I have mana up for ruination. So he does use the deny. Wow. So I ha I, I have to ruination next turn then. Uh... Thresh doesn't really do anything. He has to open attack. I'm thought it's really weird that he didn't uh, commit Jarvan there. And grace, beauty in the place. I don't want to play around Ruination anymore. I mean, I don't want to play around Deny anymore. He was really thinking hard before. I think this is an okay play. If he has another Deny, then whatever. We just lose. But he already used Deny last turn. He was really thinking hard about it. Stopping the Jarvan level up is really insane, even just by a turn. Yeah, he doesn't have deny. If he has deny, he doesn't think about this. I really think he should have just opened attack with the dragon, ensure that the Jarvan levels up. I, I think this is a misplay on his part. <laughs> Got him! I would have been 3 0, man. I would have been 3 0. But uh, I I choke a lot. I choke a lot. I still choke. That Trundle Sander game was awful, man.